12 set with uh, Florida Football Talk. You go to any of your major audio platforms and just check out Gators Breakdown. Just search it right there. Uh, it is uh, for a niche uh, platform. Uh, it's pretty astounding that it is consistently in the top 200 sports podcasts on the iTunes list. So it is quality start to finish. The guys know their stuff, starting with Dave. Uh, again, Gators Breakdown on any of the audio platforms. And if you want to see the guys talk, you catch them right here on YouTube. And, uh, of course, college football coast to coast right here at uh, Mark Rogers TV, the voice of college football. If you love the game and want to hear uh, from just about everyone, especially here in the SEC. All right, Dave, if we look at this uh, 2020 class, I see that all these camps are going on. There's a key one, uh, the UA Orlando camp. Uh, going on, going on right of, now. <laughs> what's that going on right now? Right yeah. now, yep. <laughs> so uh, tons of Florida targets there. Yep. Uh, the, it's a class that's already ranked uh, top six in the, in the nation. Obviously, that's probably not going to change too much when it comes to Florida. Some other classes will change significantly, but Dan Mullen will probably keep that right in that range. Uh, uh, who, who do you like out of that class? Uh, right now, we, Mark, the guys they have committed, you know, we'll, we'll, we'll quickly go back to the 2019 class. The big miss and the, and the big uh, kind of criticism of, of this class was the kind of defensive tackle, strong side, defensive end, uh, big body type of defensive lineman Florida wasn't really able to bring in 2019 class. But you fast forward to the 2020 class, and right now you have uh, you know four star Johnny Brown out of Tampa, Florida, defensive tackle. That's what he's labeled as. But um, they're going to kind of use him as the defensive tackle, strong side defensive end, 6'2", 250, uh, you know, 98th ranked player in the nation right now. So a top 100 guy in your state uh, that you got wrapped up. And also Gervin Dexter, uh, another defensive tackle, 6'6 and a half, 276, uh, 154th ranked player uh, in, the, in the country right now. So, you know, while Florida missed – uh, on those big bodies in 2019, they've already got two of them uh, for the 2020 class. So that was a big time, uh, big time gets already for, for for positions of need. Uh, but also, you know, right now, the highest ranked player that they have in the in the class, Leonard Manuel, wide receiver, 36 ranked player, uh, big time, big body, 6'4", 200, a wide receiver that Florida uh, and Dan Mullen really likes those big body receivers because in his offense, you have to be able to block. You have to be able to block for uh, all those wide outside runs, and that's what springs those big time runs uh, that you see out of this Florida offense sometimes. So Florida likes those big bodied receivers, and they got one wrapped up right now in Leonard Manuel, uh, 6'4", 200. And then Kayvon Lee uh, is kind of an athlete. He will probably play running back at Florida, six, uh, six foot. 216, another top 100 player in this class, ranked at 97th right now. So uh, he was, uh, I believe in December, um, was at some camps and was really showing off uh, his skill set. And uh, some people thinking he may even get that fifth star uh, eventually for for the Gators. He committed all the way back in March uh, of 2018. Uh, still says he's really from the Florida, helping recruit. And that's one thing, Mark, that you really see in with this 2020 and 2021 class, even as far away as it is, is these guys have a kind of competition amongst themselves to help recruit and what guys they can bring in uh, to help this class. So they're off to a fast start, much faster start. Uh, than what they were uh, looking at a year ago. And I really, like I said, I'll go back to the, the big 10 win season, finishing in the top 10. Uh, and I really think that kind of translate to uh, th these future classes Dan Mullen is trying to secure right now. And you mentioned the Orlando camp uh, under armor camp that's going on right now. And, Two big, gigantic Florida targets are, are, are taking part in that. We'll start with Carson Beck right from here in Jacksonville. Mark he plays about five minutes from my house. So, of course, I'm really interested in, in following him. I got to follow him a bit last year. Uh, as a TV station I work for, we televised their first game. Uh, so I got to see him go through preseason camp uh, a good bit, learn a new offense because he transferred in from another high school. Uh, Florida lost a commitment in this 2020 class last week with Anthony Richardson. One uh, quarterback who kind of is the prototypical Dan Mullen quarterback, uh, a dual threat, a big bodied. Uh, but Carson Beck from here in Jacksonville visited Florida last weekend, really, really liked the visit, visited Miami as well. Uh, so it's going to be a kind of a he decommitted from Alabama Monday, I believe. So it's going to be a Florida, Miami, Alabama. He's even throwing Georgia Tech in the mix as well with Jeff Collins being there. Uh, former Florida defensive coordinator. So Carson Beck, big-time quarterback. I look for him to eventually be one of the top quarterbacks uh, in the 2020 class, maybe even earn his fifth star before it's all said and done. And then Demarcus Bowman, uh, uh, another Lakeland pipeline uh, kid that Florida has uh, in their crosshairs. They Like I said, they were able to pull three of those kids uh, in the 2019 class. But Demarcus Bowman, 
five-star running back Florida's in really good shape for. And as of about an hour ago, Mark, named Florida his leader over Georgia and Clemson. Uh, so the, Florida will very much like, of course, to keep that Lakeland pipeline going, especially with a five-star running back. That can kind of be a, a total package running back that Florida has ha- hasn't really secured uh, yet, maybe since um, – as far as securing one, really hasn't. I mean, I thought Jordan Scott could be that court, uh, running back a few years ago. Never kind of really – he was a good running back, but never kind of really lived up to that building. DeMarcus Bowman is on a different uh, level when you start talking about running backs.